What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Pat. I'm a full-time reseller. Uh, today, we are going to go over what sold week 38, and I also picked up uh, 36 shirts yesterday. Paid an average of $3.77 per shirt. So um, I kind of have them all stacked nicely so we can go through them kind of quickly. And um, then we'll go over to what sold. Um, got like four or five items and some interesting ones to show you. So we're going to get started right now. All right. First up is this uh, Carhartt Original Fit 2XL t-shirt. It's got the patch and logo on the front. Overall, really good condition. Uh, next up is this Reebok NFL, I think it's on field, uh, Falcons jersey. Number 28, I think the player is worn done. I actually had to look this up when I got home. Um, looks like it sells for right around 30 bucks ship, so not too bad to pick up. Uh, then I found two Southern Tide, uh, one t-shirt and one polo, the Skipjack polo. Both size large, this, they both have the logo on the front. There and there, great brand to keep an eye out for. Uh, next, this is the newer style tag for Polo Ralph Lauren. Uh, classic fit polo. I only pick these up if they have the pony logo. Otherwise, they really don't sell as well. Um, same goes for these vintage Tommy Hill figures. I'll only pick them up if they have the Crest logo. Um, so next up is this Brooks Brothers Irish Linen shirt. Um, I think this is the newer style tag. I'm not 100% sure. Next, these all over print uh, Tommy Bahama shirts really do well for me. This one's got like a little tiny spot stain there, so it really shouldn't hurt the value too much, but it does have a front pocket. I generally get between like 25 and 30 bucks for these plus shipping. Uh, next up, Ralph Lauren RLX. There's the, it's, I think it's on the sleeve too. Um, these do pretty well, better than the normal Ralph Lauren polos. Uh, Columbia Golf. I picked this up because it was a 2XL. Um, really good condition, should still sell for about 15, 16 bucks. Um, I usually don't pick up these Adidas shirts, but I found two of them together, so I'm gonna lot them together. Uh, we got, you know, less than eight bucks in both, so hopefully get around 20, 25 bucks for the pair. Um, here's a more vintage style Tommy Bahama uh, polo. It's really like heavy cotton. It's in pretty good condition. It's got some light wear, or like light uh, fading on the front, but uh, overall should still do pretty good. Shipping is going to suck. I'll probably have to put it in one of these um, priority mail flat rate or yeah, flat rate envelopes. They cost me like seven bucks to ship. So not the best, but um, next, this Nat Nast Polo. It's a polyester cotton blend. Uh, Under Armour loose heat gear, just regular polo with the logo. Uh, a little newer style Tommy Hill Hilfiger uh, classic fit with the little flag. And then next, another Tommy Hill figure with the Crest logo, but I don't, it's not really a vintage tag. Um, this is the older style Ralph Lauren, uh, blue custom fit, again with the pony. And some more Fasinable one. Uh, this one's cool. It's an Indian Madras uh, Ralph Lauren. I found these before. They, they really sell out kind of quick. Next, another Ralph Lauren classic fit uh, with the pony. These were all in really great condition, so I couldn't really pass them up. I generally get between 15 to 20 bucks for these. Uh, Ralph Lauren Custom Fit, another one. There's another Fasinable with the little uh, logo on the front. And uh, I picked this up because it's a larger size. It's a Brooks Brothers Madison, but uh, 18 and a half, 36. Really, really good condition. Doesn't have the logo, but still should sell pretty well. Um, here's another one I don't find too often, but when I do, I usually pick them up if they're in pretty good condition. The size sucks. It's a size small, but it's a Ermenegildo Zegna soft uh, button down. More like a uh, older vintage style with the bigger buttons. Uh, another Fasinable. Another Nat Nass. This one is a silk cotton blend. It's got a cool like palm tree pattern. Uh, another Fasinable. Another Fasinable. Another Fasinable. And uh, this is like a newer style Tommy Bahama. It's got a really cool like check and um, floral palm tree print. Uh, this one was different. This is a hard rock guitar company. I think this one was new with tags. If I can find the tag. Um, it says born to rock on the front. There's the tag. I believe that one was new with tags. Uh, Robert Talbot. Uh, some of these actually don't sell as well as the others, but this one, the trim fit, I think would do well. I think the green tag, if I remember correctly, is the better one, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, here's a new with tags, Tommy Hilfiger, 80s two-ply. Um, this might have been a store return from Macy's, as it says right there. But you know, MSRP is 60 bucks, so still should do pretty good. Uh, another vintage Tommy Hilfiger. I think this one, yeah, the Crest logo is way on the bottom. And uh, RVCA, these usually sell out pretty quick when they're slim fit. Um, I, I don't think I found many in relaxed fit, but you know, 
got a pretty cool blue pattern. So, so that was it for clothing. Now we're going to hop over to sales. All right, so I had 36 sales last week for just under $1,100. I got five items to show you, so we're going to start with this first one, which is this vintage Kuwait soccer jersey I found a few weeks ago. Couldn't really find any comps, so I decided to take a gamble and throw it up on auction starting at $100. And uh, in hindsight, I probably should have just listed this at like two or two fifty dollars with best offer, but um, I only had 4 bucks into it, so I was completely happy with $100 plus shipping. Um, here's a picture of the tag. I guess uh, the brand is N Sport. If you guys know anything about like vintage soccer jerseys or vintage jerseys at all, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what I'm looking for, and uh, I'd appreciate it. Uh, next up, I found this uh, Sony Walkman at Goodwill. I paid five bucks for it. Uh, took about three months to sell, but uh, sold for full price, fifty nine ninety five with free shipping. Uh, it actually went local, so shipping was kind of cheap. Um, some some Walkmans will be worth more than others. Uh, this one, like I said, took me like. Uh, four months to sell actually with electronics like this I like to take a picture of like the screen with like the batteries in it and like any scratches like there was a couple up here and um, I think uh, on the back you can see like some on the clip but um, overall not a bad flip Walkmans do vary but like like this one I think the headphones alone were like 20 or 25 bucks and and the actual um, Sony Walkman unit itself was like 20 or 30 bucks so still not a bad flip for five bucks next um, I got this perfume from my wife she got it as a gift like a while back and it kind of just sat in a drawer uh, until I found it and decided to list it I got 31.95 for it um, it took like two months to sell uh, the thing with perfumes and really any like aerosol cans is they have to be shipped parcel select uh, ground. It can't really go by air, so no first class or um, priority mail. Um, people still do it, but you know just to follow the rules, I sell it. You know economy free shipping. It does take a little bit longer to get there, but I think some people might be expecting that. Uh, it cost me like seven dollars and fifty cents to ship. So after fees and shipping, I still made like close to twenty bucks. So still not a bad flip. And next, this is a really good brand, Turnbull and Aster. Uh, they're made in England. Here's a picture of the tag. Um, these shirts always sell upwards of like 30, 40 bucks. This one was just a, you know, like a little blue and white dot pattern. Um, overall, really good condition. Some wrinkles. Uh, they are French cuffs too, which most of them you find will be. Uh, this one took a week to sell, sold full price 34 plus 4.95 shipping. Uh, I paid three dollars and 83 cents, so definitely keep an eye out for Tur Turnbull and Asser. And last, I found this OEM Super Forester radio. Um, I love finding these because sometimes they're worth pretty good money. This one I paid six bucks for, and uh, it sold within two weeks for 39.95 plus 14.99 shipping. Uh, this shipped out in a medium flat rate box for like 12 dollars and 80 cents, so shipping wasn't too bad. Um, I think also what helped this sell is it had the original brackets to mount it in the car so definitely always keep an eye out for radios like this they're definitely worth looking up and um, sometimes they can be worth some pretty good money so that's going to do it thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week